Welcome to GTA 5 Part 11. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's been so long since we've got back to this one, I can't remember what we're supposed to do here. Uh, we're playing last this last part, Red. Uh, we're trying to get the people who apparently double crossed us or are trying to last part get back at us for some reason. The last part was we were doing the plane mission, remember? Oh, plane I, think, I, think, I think I remember now. Yeah. Wait, wait, plane mission? Wait, you, when you, we, you, wait, when did we fly a plane? It was one that part where you left uh, as uh, and we ended the part with Hachi, remember? Oh, I know, I know, I know. But I mean, go, what happened in that part? Basically, we did a plane mission. Uh, Dwebs, I have to go to the bathroom, so you explain. Well, basically, uh, again, though, it's been so long, I can't, honestly can't remember. I'm so sorry. Come on, Dwibs. What happened with the plane? We took over an airfield, pretty much. Hmm. Oh, and we also, is it just me, or does the audio seem a bit uh, low or muted for this video? Um, I must have, um... You can still hear it, can't you? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can hear what's going on. Yeah. I, again, I swear, I can't really remember what happened at this point. It's been a while since I've recorded it. At least try and recall what happened with the plane. I'm guessing there was a plane involved. Ah, uh, shit, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it has, like, audience, it has been a while since the last GTA part we actually recorded. <laughs> hmm. Serious? Yeah, I'm not hearing any sound from this video. I'm guessing you guys are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, looked like it hurt. Oh. Yeah. And Dwids are still driving recklessly. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. What do you expect? You were yeah. doing just fine. Yeah. Until you hit that. Oh yeah, guy. for a GTA um, game, this is tame driving. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I get to one of Rockstar's other nope. games, particularly Ow. LA Noir. Won't that be fun to see me drive? Maybe I'll drive calmly. Maybe I'll drive recklessly. He lies. <laughs> what? I said either or. <laughs> what, if you, what, if, what if you do neither? How is that possible? Um. Well, then again, we always find ways to do something. You could be a passive aggressive driver. You know, I'm trying to remember <laughs> if I'm trying to remember if I go if all the damage you cause does affect the ending you get in each chapter. Hmm. I know that you get a bill or something, but eh. all right. Basically, we're, we're still dealing with the crazy Chinese guy. Oh, fun! Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization. Can yeah, weapons. your organization being and you and your two crew. My organization Men. is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that good Okay, now I've got the volume back. Afraid. I just need to reload the page for some reason. What time are you guys at? We want to explore um, 3, 16, 17. Hmm. Shut the fuck up! I'll, I'll go ahead to 3.50. Okay. A little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and, and <laughs> weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this okay. I'm very Three, sorry. two, one, You're click. You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me... You're sorry. Who About you what? Hmm? Um, About his ambition? That and then that and the Chinese aren't going to work with Trevor. Oh. The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys, and fuck them! Alright, <laughs> so, yeah, Trevor, when in doubt, just massacre them all. I need to look up something GTA-related, because I want to see if this oh, is Ah, the happening. music's so fitting. So, uh, see, watch her. Uh, it's something related to uh, a <laughs> documentary that's going to be on TV oh, soon. Oh, Jova, either yeah. Trevor must have read your mind. He said, This music's all fucking wrong! And he changed yeah. the channel by himself. 
Anywho, any Pedro Dribs apparently doesn't remember. What happened on the plane mission? Oh, okay. Basically, we have to get some cargo from one place to another. Uh, and that's basically it. Oh, I get that, get that. But did we do anything using a plane? Uh, we control the plane, you know, we fly it from there, and there's yeah. a lot of dialogue in between. So. Ah, shame. I would have liked to have seen Dribs driving a plane. Eh, yeah, honestly, it wasn't. He didn't crash it. Uh, he did fine, so, eh. Trust me, they didn't okay. really, they didn't really miss Okay, much. um... Sorry, Ribs, I, I, you... sorry, I forgot to switch the audio to um, not coming from the controller. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm it out. so uh, hey, Dwibs, what's your, fa what's your favorite vehicle to control in GTA? The cars. You ah. It? You can cause the most carnage. Oh, okay, go on, Joy. Hey, Dribs, are you aware of the um, the documentary Game Changer that's coming to the BBC later this year? Yeah, I've heard. I, just, I don't know exactly when it's airing. Uh, basically, um, um, for the sake of Jova and um, Pedro, there's going to be a Grand Theft Auto documentary on the BBC. Well, GTA 3, really? well, not so much the first two, but GTA 3 was indeed a Game Changer. It set the bar for all sandbox games to come, and uh, to this well, day... Well, Rockstar isn't very happy about it. Wait, why? Why? It's, it's not just about the game, it's about general public's reception of it and how it's poisoning our children. And Rockstar believes it's a sort of anti-GTA documentary and they're trying to sue for it oh right because oh. oh so it's that kind of documentary it's a documentary that's going to talk and it's about... also starring daniel radcliffe what daniel radcliffe oh i get it so it's one of those documentaries talking about how gta is destroying society and shit wait wait, wait hold yeah. on daniel radcliffe uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was. Well, he was in the advert anyway. Yeah, uh, again, I'll just say the same thing I said when He's it comes coming. to the in controversy involving Hong Kong. Yeah, because there was no such thing as violence or wrong things in the world before GTA come along, right? That's... <laughs> okay, here's my question. What's Daniel Radcliffe doing in it? Uh, he is, I believe he's the one who's presenting the documentary. Oh, this is basically, oh, this is basically, Let me double check. This is basically because people don't, eat, don't, people don't want to actually get off their asses and do something to improve things, how things are in the world. So they'd they rather just play video games. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like in the Kingdom Hearts parody where the science, where the scientists before becoming the organization for Tina are saying, oh, guys, I still can't figure out what the reason why people kill each other. Ah, just play video games. Okay, so basically... Uh, you know how ironic oh, since Daniel Radcliffe... Oh, okay, it's sort what? of like, um, it's sort of going to be like a mockumentary, kind of a drama-esque thing, and Daniel Radcliffe will be playing Sam Hauser. A mockumentary? What's that? A uh, sort of a, a documentary that's sort of half drama, half doc, half drama, half documentary. So, so it will be just a okay, so basically, that you will actually be reenacting certain events. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. So, um, in this mission, we're get, we're going to be we're going to be taking down this group called the O'Neill Brothers. By shooting them all and then blowing up their meth lab. Oh, cool. Also, yes. it's coming out on September 15th, so I'll have to watch that and get back to you on that. Sure. Huh, weird. It doesn't seem to be in Daniel Radcliffe's <laughs> filmography thing. Exactly. Oh, wait, never mind. It, never mind. Never mind. It is. It is. Hmm. Wow, guys, I've heard of hostile takeovers, but this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So here's what I don't get, I mean, well, um If uh, if Rockstar is a, is against this, how are the people even getting the jurisdiction to make this documentary? Because um, Rockstar have un well so far unsuccessfully um, been able to pull the documentary away. Huh. Well, I get that, but I mean, well, who gave them the jurisdiction in the first place? Is what I was wondering. Uh, it's the BBC who are doing the documentary. So, ah, the BBC, of course. So I'm guessing they gave them the permission in the first place, otherwise, because it's already been filmed and everything. So basically, but I'm guessing when they again, saw how it came out, so then they they didn't like it. So basically, England is once again pulling a cork orange. Like, what is up with England wanting to blame artists for the violence they have? <laughs> well, then again, everyone does that. I know, but Jesus, what the fuck, people?
The was thing fun. is, though, that like, thing every... could even a bit more since apparently, there, since apparently there was also news about studies on whether or not child violence was inflicted by video games back in the uh, earlier 2010s. I remember an article like, about it. Yeah, this is almost as stupid as that stupid woman on YouTube trying to blame porn as the downfall of our society. <clears throat> Yeah, no, no, yeah, don't mind war, famine, uh, and shit like terrorism and shit like that. No, 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 no. Porn is the real evil here. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's like to every parent out there, there is plenty of child-friendly content out there. I mean, games like this are clearly not meant for children, uh, along with all sorts of other mediums with films and books. Yeah, of course. They're clearly <laughs> age marked. If your child has somehow managed to get hold of this game, then you're either oblivious or just a really... Your Bad parenting parent. needs to be called into questioning. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want your kids to play GTA, do your best to prevent them from, from doing that. Just tell them, sorry, okay, you're so... not 18, so you can't play it yet. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, and yeah, my now... mother never allowed us to have any games like this, even though we didn't want them. Right. So... It's like, oh, it's up to you, speak. not the company. Right. Go ahead, so, Sorry, Dibs. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. We, we, we can discuss the whole um, ethics of video games. Can we time. commentate on that documentary? Well, to be fair, well, yeah. I, I, know, I know it's related to GTA, but there's a documentary coming out soon, so I think it'd be best if we save it for them. Sure. Ah, well, it's, to be fair, Dibs, it is kind of relevant, and there wasn't really much going on right here. So basically, hey, hey. what we're doing now is we're going to leave. We're leaving this trail of gasoline. So that we can shoot the gasoline, it will go into the meth house to blow it up. But I, but I, I kind of messed up. You have really? To, you see those? Did you see those yellow dots on the um on the radar? Yep. You have to you have to pour gasoline on every single dot, and I missed one. <laughs> oh. Bother. Well, we'll commentate on the documentary if that, we want to. Oh, ow. We'll leave I, it for that. I try to I try to be clever and um yeah. Yeah. This is what I, I really haven't taken be... any advice from Pedro. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, Dwes. When you try to be clever, the recording curse will get you. Trust me. <laughs> so, guys, would you like to see what happens when you shoot when you shoot a long trail of gasoline into a meth house? I actually have seen what happened since I remember seeing one of my friends play this in one of my earlier years of college. Come on, there. Oh, so if I put my gun up here and fire, I got to make a hole. I'm killing the planet. <laughs> Ooh. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Obviously. <laughs> Looks a bit safe, all that blood on his face. And now let's get away from the farmhouse. Come on, there you go. Uh, yeah, let's let's steal their cars. I'm sure that's what they want. Oh yeah. Totally. <laughs> and whoa, it's a bit slippery. Well, it is an ATV. Yeah. Well, then again, at this point, I'm not used to ATVs. I'm just more used to the you know regular cars. Crystal maze. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because um. Yep. All right. So, which mission? Which mission are going to do next? One involving Trevor himself. You know, not not just the um. You know, you know, not 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 just the Trevor and his issues with with rival gangs. Mm -hmm. I don't think it. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me for a, a moment. That's if Trevor can actually get okay. to his house. That is. Go ahead. Oh, turbocharger and stuff now available. Yeah, it's like it's like I said. I don't want to get deviated by side stuff. I just want to get through the missions. Sure. I'm having too much fun with the horn. Wow, am I actually being a somewhat careful driver on the road for once? Madness. Aside from giving the middle finger to the um, drivers. Now, I'm not joking, when you're unarmed and you press the L1 button that usually aims, you just give the middle finger to people. <laughs> classy. Yeah. But then again, this is GTA. Being classy will get you killed. <laughs> get back here. You're not even hidden. 
We're not gonna hurt ya. You got it? I'm not gonna hurt trying, you. Trevor. I'm just gonna bash trying. your fucking Come brains in. Right? I ain't gonna hit you. <laughs> I ain't gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> You said you wasn't gonna hit me. I lied. I you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> put him on the phone just to be safe. But she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up before I molest you, alright? Now, is there anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I phone directory. Bro. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, come here. <laughs> yeah, come here. Woo, you did it. <laughs> Don't you ever not tell me things like Love you. Know. <laughs> come on, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Yeah, come on, Ron. Me? Not you, me and Wade. Oh. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money <laughs> and tidy my shit up. <laughs> oh, wait, come on. He's the CEO, not the butler. You jerk me off <laughs> if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. You better be. Yeah. No, you can. No, you can <laughs> okay, so um, okay, this is this bit's gonna. Okay, first of all, we gotta go to the trailer park, and then there's this very long. I, I think coming up is this very long ride. Nice. Well, don't worry, we get some entertaining dialogue along the way, but not right yet. We gotta go to the trailer park. Yeah. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. Vespucci so, Beach. Vespucci uh, Beach. By the way, guys, we had a kind of a lot of movies recently, so tomorrow let's try to focus just on games. Is that okay with you? Okay. Yeah. What can we do, Hoodwink 2 on Friday? Uh, sure. We'll do Hoodwink 2 on Friday, but that's it. Okay, uh. I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes. Another chapter of the lost descended on this fine town. <laughs> looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't think we yeah, you disrespectful there. prick. I mean, you <laughs> Breaking news. Camps up here. I wait till dark before I drop in again. Do you mean just gonna sit here in the rain, Trevor? I guess. Just, sorry, wrong way. Do you mean you just gonna sit here in the rain, Trevor? <laughs> that's that's better. And thus they stay there. That's the idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I admit I do. I, I do get a mission failed in this part, but um That's okay. Mm. As long as they're not constant, then Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Sit tight, little buddy. I'll try not to get killed. Hey man, fuck! Yeah, I tried to I tried to use the car to sneak and um Yeah, it didn't work. So yeah, that's the that's the moral of the story. Don't use the car. Come on. Die. Do you get kills here and that's why you fail or Yeah. I I I oh. killed. Eventually. Yeah. There you go. Well, um, hey, at least someone will be paying their respects. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so using the car didn't work. Let's go on foot. Alright, 
So, the plan is to throw sticky bombs onto the trailers. And then when they're all done, I just press the left button and then they all go kablooey. Oops. Oh. No. I blew myself up. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I actually forgot I did that. <clears throat> oh yeah, and what I do sometimes, if I, you know, like in chase missions where you can't possibly get the, you can't, where, you know, you fall behind, what I do, mm. I just blow myself up and start over. It's like, I, I kind of treat myself, I kind of think to myself, okay, I'm, I'm going to use Edge of Tomorrow logic and, um, kill myself. Awesome. Okay, so, don't get too close, to, so, getting too close to the vans was a bad idea. Let's go around. And that guy didn't notice me. Good. Even though I'm running like crazy. Tense, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, she, are you there? Yes. Okay. No, we're trying to work. Oh. Okay, do you succeed this time? Yeah, I do. Right. Okay. Trigger the sticky bomb below. Yep. There you go. Fuck! <laughs> go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 gotta go faster, faster, faster. <laughs> We'll have less of that. Yeah, how dare you? This is a kid's game. Oh. Come on! Time to hit the road, Wadey. Los Santos, here we come. Yeah, here we go. Basically, this is this is the this is the one with the long um We got a long drive ahead of us in this bit. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Oh. Wait, why did I pause? Oh. I accidentally hit the pause button sometimes. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh. Well, the government pisses everyone off. Of course. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> we just completed so, a mission. I'm going. We, we, we blew a bunch of um, mobile homes up. Oh, what was the motivation? Um, they pissed him off. Yeah. So what about those pretty much Chinese it. characters? Are they done? You really um, pretty much. The motivation to blow up someone in GTA, Joe. Okay, so, <laughs> well, now, so now Joe... Well, well, Pedro, let's remember, GTA 5 is one of the more story-driven ones, so there is motivation. Actually, GTA has been story-driven for quite a while now, it's not really... No, 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 I said more story-driven ones. It's okay. like, well, you got a bit. Compared to the past GTA ones, this one has a lot more story to it. Actually, Joe, but it's kind of a Vincent Andreas, and Andreas, I don't know if a lot of story. Oh, guys, oh, guys. Oh, aside, aside from Vice City, I mean... I, I, I don't think about Vice City, I think about San Andreas. Didn't San Andreas kind of suck though with that? Uh, well, I didn't like it, but it's generally regarded as one of the best. Okay, so um, basically, guys. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was sick about GTA 4. But what I'm saying is, like, well, GTA 5 is one of the more story driven ones. So, like I said, it's one of them. Alright, so. so of course, there'd be more motivation. 
Twins, you should drive on the right side of the road. We're not oh, yeah. in England. Yeah. Let's listen to Trevor's story. A boy named Trish. Why are you driving on the left side? Trish, why are you driving on the left side? We're not in Britain. <laughs> How do you accidentally have a stick jammed up your ass? Oh, you'd be surprised, you right? There are many ways you can I don't know. find yourself in that situation. Yeah, you don't want to know. Oh, is that referencing GTA 4? <laughs> yes, we do. Woo! Cause... Yay! Yay, Britain tax relief! Awesome. Tax relief on movies! Woo! Alright, so let's take a look at the breathtaking view of Los Santos. Our camp city, eat your heart out. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? <laughs> it's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! We weren't even fucking dead. You were my best Why do you think Michael is dead? Because, remember that botched um, robbery at the first part, Jova? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't recall my... Oh, that's right, that's right, he told him to go. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It all, it all, it all comes Santos, back to that, basically. The city of shitheads. Yeah, you think he would have known. Huh, <laughs> surprised he didn't figure out sooner, but then again, he's Trevor. Oh, okay, here's the rest of the story. Boy Trisha. You know, it's a pretty big world that it has both the desert and the city. Well, aren't a lot of states um, in America split between like deserts or very just empty areas? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. What I'm saying is like, well, it's a pretty big world for a video game. <laughs> Well, isn't that the idea of this game? Like, you can go wherever you want, and it's quite expansive. Oh, yeah. That's the whole appeal of GTA. Yeah. Uh, basically, GTA, games like GTA took uh, the concept behind uh, Shenmue. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> Mike Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Yu Suzuki's Shenmue was the first movie to really have this kind of open uh, end of world thing. Uh, Shenmue was different though, whereas this game, uh, these games focus more on action and uh, being a big, massive open world. You can't necessarily go into every house, but uh, hey, there's a lot of shit you can do. Actually, I'll, I'll finish later. Guess it adds replayability too. Okay. Trisha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, Echo. But what happens in the end? Wade, we do not know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did all the names just change or something? Shut up! I'll give you directions. Oh, this is racist. Best story ever. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, Shenmue was different in that regard because Shenmue didn't have a wide, giant ass open world. It was more about the details. The world itself wasn't that big, but to compensate the immense amount of detail, you could go into every house, check out every drawer, every single nook and cranny. Basically, an attempt to make the world feel as real as possible. Uh, basically, GTA took that concept and applied it in a more broad scale with more an, an, an action focus than immersion. <laughs> Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, yeah. You You'll want to lecture about politeness in the house, meth, Trevor. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. <laughs> you can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neville in bed. A guy was never true. <laughs> you gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, <clears throat> she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah. You don't mess with Trevor, dude. Wait. Uh, yeah. I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Right. Yeah, I'll just stay here and, um... Be an asshole. Watch some yeah. porn, why not? All right, so... This sure. will, this will be our apartment for for the next for, for the next uh, but next third of the game. Yeah. Keen. friends united, reunited. Oh. Yeah. All right. So seventy five percent, and unfortunately, I didn't get any headshots, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> so right. we'll see you in part twelve, where hopefully I'll remember the story. See you, see you next see you. time. See you. See you.